Hello everyone. Today in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to actually add your do-it-yourself gateway to the blockchain. Everybody's been waiting for this day for a very long time. And if you are one of the alpha members of the team, you probably got a code that you'll be able to take your gateway and add to the blockchain and actually start mining some tokens. In this video, I'm going to go through the process of compiling and installing the wallet on your computer and adding the hotspot to the blockchain. So let's go. The first thing we need to do is to install the wallet and with that load the wallet that you installed from your phone into the computer. The first thing that you need to do is go to GitHub and clone the wallet into your computer. Click code, copy and then go to the terminal and type git clone and paste that URL. Press enter and then we're going to download all the code into the computer. We got, we're going to have here Helium Wallet. Just to let you know, I mean, I'm doing this process in the same server as I have the miner running. Um, I highly advise you to not have the, the wallet in the same server as you have the miner. So let's go. So I'm going to enter the Helium folder. And now we have to compile this. But first we need to install a few packages in the computer in case you don't have them already. So apt install. Don't worry, I'm going to link all these programs and comments and everything in the description of this video. Okay, let's install. There's a pretty cool website called rustup.rs that has all the packages and everything you need to know you need to do to have Rust running in your computer. Rust is the programming language that the wallet is written in. So while we're installing the packages, Let's go to rustup.rs and all you need to do in order to install Rust in your computer is just copy this line of code here. And let's go back to the folder. And then once all the programs are done installing, we can go ahead and install Rust. Now let's paste the code from that website. Press enter and that's going to install Rust. We just need to press one and let it go. All right, let's to configure your current shell run source and this, let's just paste this information and press enter to reload the information, the environment information that we just installed. So now it's time to compile the wallet. Uh, if you go back to the GitHub code, you can see the way to do it is just cargo build dash dash release from the Helium folder. So that's what we're going to do. And that's the folder that we are right now. So I'm just gonna click here, release. And this process is gonna take a little bit. So when it's done, we're gonna have the wallet working in your computer. All right, after 48 minutes, we have our wallet compiled and working in, in our computer. So if you go to the folder target release, you're gonna see the file accent Helium wallet and that's the wallet they're gonna use helium wallet um, what we're gonna to have to do now is to import the wallet that we created on our phones for that you're gonna need those 12 um, words right so to do that let's go create basic dash the seed and then now we're gonna type the 12 words I'm gonna use the ones that I have so we have our wallet, uh, we need the address that we're going to use for the payments. So the first comment that we're actually going to do is needs to be run on the Docker where we have, I mean on the server where we have the Docker. Our miner in this one is called miner, okay. So all I need to do is say docker exec miner, which is the name of the container. And then the command inside the Docker is going to be miner txn add gateway owner equals that's your uh, personal wallet address payer and then this is going to be helium's wallet because they're actually the one paying for this um, assertion so to do that actually I'm going to just add my own address right now and then one thing is super important 
we need to get this address here and we're going to use on the second code now we need to go back to our wallet so copy this line okay and go back to the wallet and then we have to do helium wallet dash dash format json onboard and then we get that command that we just copy from the other screen okay and then dash dash onboarding and then we're going to use the code that was given to you by helium and then dash dash commit okay um, I'm just gonna copy and paste because I don't want to make any mistakes here okay let's do it then you enter the password for the wallet and the answer should be just some JSON responses okay now let's go back to the miner and type now we need to add the location of the gateway docker exec miner miner txn assert location and then owner your own uh, wallet again location it's gonna be latitude longitude of your uh, hotspot and the same thing payer and then we have uh, the same address from helium right so I'm just gonna clean this I'm gonna do it with my own code like I said I don't want to mistype anything and then the answer that we're going to receive from this we're going to copy and paste again on the wallet so let's go back to the wallet let's clean here and then we're going to say helium wallet minus minus format json on board and then the second code that we received so xxx and then onboarding and then the code that I received again and then in the end commit all right add the wallet password again and that's it that's all I need now you should go back to your app and you'll be able to see that the hotspot should be showing up anytime soon there if you have any questions just let me know. Uh, it should take like a little bit to for the gateway to show up on the list. But then once it's done, there's nothing you need to do is just wait and relax. If you have any questions, just let us know. Uh, also, if you like this video, if you start making some helium tokens or if you want to leave a donation, the address is down as well. Um, thank you very much and see you in the next one.